much Jimmy Garoppolo have you been able to watch just in terms of obviously studying the 49ers offense? And what are some things you noticed that, you know, are pretty good? Yeah. Uh, when when we were starting, um, you know, with, with the playbook, watched a lot of, uh, you know, their tape um, with Jimmy. Um, there were a couple of uh, CJ um, on there, CJ clips. Um, you know, Trey uh, was on those clips as well. Um, and you got to see the timing of the footwork with how they did things on certain pass protections, play pass protections, um, necessarily where the spot was um, in certain protections. Um, and then the timing, you know, how, how that married up with, with the route. So learned learned a lot from from you know his tape and you know the tape that uh um you know they produced over however many years what do you see in the 49ers defense or number one in the nfl yeah i mean we're preparing for for these guys like every other defense we understand that um this is probably going to be our toughest um you know competition because it's our next um but for us you know i i don't think uh we look at it as uh, something that we shy away from. You know, we embrace adversity, we embrace competition, and uh, you know, it's a great opportunity for us to showcase what we can do. You know, against the best, and what more can you ask? So, what are some things that, <clears throat> some ways that you've noticed San Francisco use Ufanga, the safety, that makes him so special and so impactful? Yeah, um, you know, just kind of looking at his tape. I mean. You know, I, I watched a lot of uh, Troy Polamalu when um, you know I was growing up, um, just because of um, him being a, a poly brother as well, and then you know kind of seeing uh, Talanoa's um, you know film, very similar, like very instinctive, uh, very intuitive, like understands like what has to be done in their defense, um, doesn't necessarily doesn't necessarily like do much as far as um not trying to disguise like really good at at disguising if it's cover four if it's three weak if it's three strong um and then when when he has the pressure like you can see it over and over again like does a really good job listening to the cadence um you know and uh trying to time things up in that sense so you know we're gonna we're gonna have to you know mix it up uh just so uh we give him a hard time to try to figure that out but you know, it's not just him that we have to worry about. You know, they they got uh, they got uh, Dre Greenlaw. They they also got a uh, number fifty four, who in my eyes is like a really 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 good ball player. Um, you know, they got Bosa. I mean, they got they got dudes everywhere. You know, at at every position. So it's going to be a great opportunity for us offensively um, to you know dial in on on the details of our offense and execute them. Two, we know a couple of your teammates, especially in the running back room, former 49ers, obviously Mike McDaniel, a lot of familiarity. Uh, have you, what differences have you noticed this week in them, if any? Uh, I, I would say I haven't seen much of a difference with, with um, any of them. They've, they've really been the same, same guys coming into work, um, wanting to work. And uh, I'm, I haven't seen any, any changes, really. Question: Does that kind of surprise you that those guys can stay so level-headed when you know obviously this will probably be emotional for mm -hmm. them just to go back and see so many familiar faces? Uh, well, yeah, I, I would say it it is kind of surprising, um, but I think too for for those guys, um, you know, it it makes sense as well, um, you know, for our running backs just just because I wouldn't say they're emotional guys necessarily um so it, it is kind of you know neutral to see how they are in you know every day like that's that's who they are i'm sure that when it gets closer to the game and when we go you know and and do play that you'll see a lot of energy from from the both of them um but you know for now they're they're just the guys that come into work and same guys that i see every day so you shouldered uh, some of the blame for the sacks uh, last game. You know, what are some of the things you wish uh, you would have done uh, differently once uh, you had me coming off the spot? Well, I think picking plays that were more sustainable to our offense's success in that game 
than just thinking, all right, we need to make a play and we need a play to happen now. Whereas we weren't necessarily running the ball, so the action, our action game wasn't necessarily, you know, perfect when we did do it. Um, it made it tougher on guys to sustain blocks, made it tougher on guys to seal blocks and get on blocks and stay on guys. So I would say just going with the open-mindedness of, of things like that. So uh, I had asked uh, Mike uh, earlier in the day, like <clears throat> one of like the themes of you know his previous offenses was like yards after the catch. I mean, he even said like, you know, we want to get the yak. Um, you know, you guys have been like really, really successful in offense, but the yak hasn't been there compared to maybe previous offenses. Um, you know, what, what sticks out to you in terms of like, is it maybe the way defense is playing you guys or just trying to take what they present or what do you see? Yeah. Yeah. I, I would say what, what we see a lot on tape, uh, you know, defenses are, are getting a lot deeper than, than usual uh, with linebacker depth. Um, and you also see the shell of the, the safeties. They're, they're getting really, really deep. Um, so so they, they do play, our, you know, I, I would say our team a little different in that regard. Uh, I would say just because of the speed that we have. But... Um, you know the the opportunity for Yak, I would say, is is you know it, it it's hard when when guys are are playing so far back and you know yeah it's hard. Tua, how much has the offense grown from the beginning of the season until now? Yeah, I, I think we've grown a lot uh, with our relationship with each other. Um, you know how how close we've all gotten uh, as a group. Um, you know, I, I would say the, the communication is, is still something that we're continuing to work on, um, you know, as, as, a, as a whole unit with me getting the play into our guys, with our guys communicating up front what the blocking scheme is, you know, to the tight ends making certain calls, the receivers understanding their assignments, um, you know, and then it translates also to the passing game. You know, you know, I think we've we've done a, a lot of good things, but there's still a lot of things that uh, have been left out on the field, and uh, we continue to to grow and we continue to get better at those things every week. Tua, can you express to us how important Tehran has been in the development of this offense and and uh, your progression this year? Uh, you know, and, and how much you guys are rooting for him to get back to his injury? Yeah, it's 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 been really good having a veteran. Uh, as himself, you know, help out with the, the guys up front. Um, you know, when Liam went down, how, you know, he kind of took, um, you know, Rob Jones under his wing and, and kind of helped mentor him throughout the process of what it means to be a starting left guard, um, you know, and how you go about your business. And so, you know, just seeing their relationship grow and, um, you know, how they communicate on that side. You know, and then also with having Austin Jackson back, you know, really helps. Um, so, you know, I, I think, um, you know, when when you have someone like that who's a veteran, you know, the, those guys come in on a Monday, just the O-line, you know, and, and he runs their meetings. You know, I, I was in their meeting this past Monday before we had our offensive meeting, and it was really cool to see um, him take charge of that room, um, you know, and kind of show guys and tell guys, you know, just what it was, you know, hey, like, I take ownership of this, you know, that's my fault. And like, nothing slips, you know, like, no one, no one gets a free pass, not even himself. So that was something really cool to see. So your passer rating on third down is about as high as you can go. What is working so well on third down that enables you and the offense to click the way it is? Yeah, I, I would say, uh, first off, our you know, our coaches, um, you know, the, the third down game plan that, that Bev and, um, you know, a couple of the other coaches put together, I, I think they put us in great spots. And uh, also being able to simplify some of the um, coverages for, you know, our guys when we go over our third downs, um, you know, whether it's uh, one, two, three, as far as coverages we'll see, um, or, you know, if it's one, then we're reacting to a zone. Um, whatever it may be, it, it makes it a lot easier uh, when they can simplify it in those terms with the plays that we have, just so our guys can visualize and understand what I'm going to do versus man, what I'm going to do versus zone.
and that's it, or vice versa. Do I know it's tough being away from family for so long on these road trips, these long road trips, but is there anything that you look forward to with these trips, whether it's just all about ball or something else? Yeah, uh, this is a great opportunity for our team to, to bond. You know, we'll be out there and it'll just be us. And I would say as captains and, you know, with our leadership uh, council group, you know, it, we don't think that it, it's necessary that when we do get downtime away from football, guys stay in their room or, you know, they, hey, I'm, I'm tired. Like, no, dude, like you can sleep when, when it's time for you to sleep. Like, let's get guys to go out. Like, let's, let's do things with our guys. So whether that's finding a, a basketball game to go to, trying to find a box, trying to go rent out a movie theater, trying to go watch a baseball game, uh, whatever that may be, top golf, I don't know. Uh, we'll try to find some things that we can do uh, that'll help us, you know, get closer with, with our guys um, on this team. I know it's not this week, but uh, finding out uh, the Chargers game is in Sunday Night Football, what was your reaction to finding out you have another primetime game? And then also what does that say about this team and what it's been able to accomplish thus far? Yeah, uh, I would say speaks volumes that uh, our game got flexed to the hard work that our team has put in, and uh, it's uh, starting to pay off. Uh, but you know we're we're focused on on the game that uh, we have to go out and play that this week, which is the Niners. So we'll focus on that and worry about next week.